Last June, I had the incredible opportunity to go to the island of Makatea with an awesome crew of people. Our first step to get there was to land in Tahiti, and there we met up with Mina, who gave us a little tour around Papete. Later in the day, we drove to the port where we put all our luggage and few groceries on the boat that will bring us to Makatea. We left the boat late in the evening only to find it early in the morning and meet up with Pascal, our seller. On the program, 20 to 30 hours on the sailing boat with a slightly agitated sea and a bit of wind. Well, it didn't really happen like that. The wind was much stronger than forecasted and the sea a bit crazier. So to put it in a nutshell, I was sick the whole time and I had to spend the whole travel on the deck no matter the rain and the waves going over the boat. Needless to say, when we saw the islands, it was a big relief. We quickly met up with the man in charge of that whole project, Erwan, on his boat Maiwan. Then we emptied the boat and reached the land and we met up with Tapu, the local who is doing a lot for the island. Let's go to the cliff. Got my bolting gear back there. And I'm gonna use a bike. A few climbers arrived on the island 10 days before I did. So they gotta check out all the potential cliffs and choose which sector would be better to pull. My first impression when I got close to the rock is that it was super good quality with very interesting features. We had expansion bolts for the roots itself, but we had glue-ins for the anchors. So we split up our work first, bolting the root and then going back up for all the anchors. I'm in the sector my one and we're putting up all the anchors. It's glue-in, so we have to be quite organized. I'm out of battery, so looks like I'm gonna have a special delivery. Marcos is coming up to the rescue. Did you order a battery? Order a battery for a, a drill? <laughs> yeah. Heard uh, you guys it. do that here? Yeah, Amazon, 24 hour delivery. <laughs> we work anywhere. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. This world never ends. <laughs> the main one sector is the one that the crew bolted before I arrived and it was super interesting to start climbing there because it had two fires and columns and it offered a good variety of easier routes which made it a good introduction. This sector was on the same side of the port which was the best place to hang out and swim and do other water activities. We went for a trip, we got a few days with a lot of rain. But you know what? It did not stop us doing stuff because there are so many cool things to do on the island.
they are very strong, but you are stronger than them. We are at the freshwater cave. In the next vlog, I'll still be in Makatea, but that time you'll see all about the climbing there and the Makatea vertical adventure, which is the main reason why we all went to Makatea.